today I got a I got a itching to make something custom, and I thought about making uh, well, what's going to end up being a airbag lamp. Now this is an old ass airlift bag. It's one I've obviously rubbed a hole in in the past. Shit, this is probably ten years old. Anyway, well, it has two nicely centered holes there, so I just decided to drill a half inch hole right through it. Of course, one side, then the other side. You don't have to go all the way through. And then I got me a make it make a lamp kits from Home Depot. And then I got the thread kit. Can't really read it, but it basically comes with two of these long rods to run the cord through and stuff. Well, and uh, I got some pretty much a lot of customization going here. This is the inside of uh, one of those trailer wheels it's like comes with one side and the other side well this side's got the the uh, where you air it up can't think what it's called but anyway this is one side of the room it was just laying out there and had to shave the nipples off why does it have nipples anyway you get all this stuff and you get your this is actually to make that fit <laughs> well i'll tell you what this is going to be 100 percent custom it just barely fits perfectly anyway that's this is the base of my lamp i have yet to come up with a shade yet but it's coming so that's going to be the very bottom the cord runs through that hole it's going to turn out pretty perfect so i'm going to put this together and show you what it looks like real quick this is what you end up with here i uh i obviously cut off the uh about four inches of that to where it wouldn't stick through i tried to get it perfect as I could anyway you get one of these these kits from Home Depot and all you got to do is I'll focus on that all you got to do is uh, wire those in screw them down onto that and that and that and that and whatever there's your turner on it I don't know I'm thinking this is only a one-time deal of sliding that on there so <laughs> this could be the very last option right there but anyway that's pretty much it I'm gonna paint this base, don't worry. Uh that's pretty much a lamp when I'm through with it. I just gotta figure out what to make a lampshade out of. Well there that is. All right. Basically all you did is screw the wires on and just push it down on there and it stays forever. <laughs> anyway. There's you got the kinda like this this rim because you can see how it's kind of beveled right there. It doesn't look trashy, and it kind of makes it look like it was made for that. Water just comes out of the hole down there. Oh, goodness me. There it is. I, I just couldn't be any more happy with the hole in the bag and everything. <laughs> well, it was love at first sight. As soon as I seen it, I knew it was right for it. The lampshade. Old Sparks in the Ozarks 8 bucket. <laughs> Well, that ain't going to produce much light at all, is it? <laughs> uh, I'll probably end up, like, figure out a way to carve something up here so it'll shine up on the roof or something. I don't know. I got plans for this, but just wish that wasn't upside down. I may do some stickering up on that thing. But you couldn't ask for a better lampshade right there. Old bucket. <laughs> yeah. Just give it a little flicky flick. Boom. Ain't that sweet? It ain't airbag lamp right there, buddy. Soak it in.